Hi, it's Heidi from A Lively Hope. I'm happy to be here with another Bible journaling video for you. I am using Jane Davenport, they're similar to Gelato's, and a Micron pen, and I've already penciled in my design, so you can see that a little bit. I'm just going over it with the Micron. I'm working in Luke 11:28. Blessed are they that hear the word of the Lord and keep it. I'm just drawing some flowers and a few of the words. I will be cutting out words from paper in just a minute. So just really simple flowers, basically just circles and some viney leafy things. I recommend using microns because they are permanent pretty much immediately. You can paint or watercolor right over the top of them and they won't smear. So here I am just using some Jane Davenport gelatos. Two colors per flower and then I'll blend them with water. A tiny bit of water on a brush goes a really long way and it blends really nicely and doesn't bleed through the page at all. I really recommend these for beginners specifically because you don't have to worry about gesso or um, using too much water. I just love how those blend. going through and blending each one. And now obviously adding the leaves. I'm just doing one color of green and then again I'll use the water to kind of blend it in and fill in the gaps where I kind of scribbled the color on. So now I'm going to use some patterned paper I have in the same colors I did the flowers and cut out the words here and then also keep it. So I it will draw attention to those words from the verse. Of course you could use alpha stickers if you wanted to. Um, I just really like the flexibility of using paper and so I generally just cut out the letters. I like what it adds to the page. So I usually write it out with pencil first, but I often kind of stray from that and just make it up as I go. I just use a regular glue stick and glue everything down, making sure to get all the edges and the layout just the way I like it. You could use any glue you have for this. Now I'll add Posca paint pen over the top for details. Use that same pen for lettering details and then make sure everything's erased, all the pencil. And I like to add a little bit of washi tape around the edge of each page so I can see which pages I've done. I like how it makes the book look. 